So here we have the Mini five-door hatchback on a 19 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you inside the boot and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside from there. As you can see, we have plenty of boot space in this car. There's also a tray that will fold down to divide the boot up into different levels and a 60-40 split folding rear seat as well. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're going to start with the dials. On the far left-hand side, we have the rev counter, we have the speedometer in the middle, and the fuel gauge over on the right-hand side. Also in the middle, you can see the total miles of the car, which are 12,064. There's a button on the end of the indicator stalk that will change the information displayed in that central section. You can, for example, have a digital readout for the speedometer, which you see being displayed now. If we back out to the steering wheel, on the left-hand side, we have speed limiter, and on the right-hand side, we have stereo and phone controls. Over in the center, we then have the main screen for the car. So up here, you can see that you've got music and phone options. Everything uh, is accessed using this dial just here. So every rotation of that will take you to a different option. Pushing it down will enter into certain menus. So for example, we can go to our music option from here. You can see we have DAB and FM radio. We can stream our music wirelessly via Bluetooth audio. We have USB input as well. We can make various adjustments to our sound settings and we can manage mobile devices from here or from the phone menu just there. Working our way down with the main volume for the stereo, we then have dual zone climate control. So we can make adjustments to the passenger temperature, the driver temperature. We can increase and decrease the fan speed. We can determine where we'd like the air to be distributed once it enters the car. When you're happy with those settings, this button turns your air conditioning on same button again to turn it off or hit auto. The car will now maintain the temperature you've asked for by taking full control of the fan speed for you. You can override that whenever you wish to by making any manual adjustment or pressing auto and you'll see auto has now gone back off again. We have a heated rear screen, heated driver seat with three different heat settings and the same for the passenger. Beneath that, we can turn off the traction control. We can start and stop the engine we can turn off the stop and start. This car is designed to cut out when it's stationary in traffic to save you fuel. That system is off when that orange light shows and we can turn the parking sensors on and off as well. We have USB input underneath there and a 12 volt charging socket as well. And then a six speed manual gearbox. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car in person and have a test drive, please feel free to call any of our MJA sites. We'd love to hear from you soon.